major sources of surface water pollution so what are the surface water sea river lakes are known as surface water and the water below the surface of the soil that is known as ground water so the sources of surface water pollution are sewage discharge which is gutter industrial effluents which releases water bodies in nearby lakes and rivers third is synthetic detergent used for washing and cleaning so when people are washing clothes by the side of lake that that is a source of surface water pollution because detergent gets mixed into the water another source of surface water pollution is agrochemicals like fertilizer containing nitrates and phosphates and pesticides used in agriculture field which come in runoff from agricultural land so whatever fertilizers which are used in agriculture field are sources of surface water pollution because fertilizer contain nitrates and phosphate elements which are very harmful to the water if they are present in water in excessive amount oil spillage during drilling and shipment so gills which are present on the body of fish are utilized for breathing what happens is when oil is taken from one place to another place by using ship and if there is an accident during this shipment of oil from one place to another place and the oil gets spilled in the water this oil sticks on the gills of the fish and if the gills of the fish is covered by oil the fish cannot breathe properly and it stops the breathing process of the fish and that results into dying of fish or other aquatic animals which breathe through gills so they are oil blocks the breathing process because it gets sticked on the body of fish sources of surface water pollution waste heat from industrial discharge increases the temperature of the water bodies major source of ground water pollution whatever we have discussed till now was about surface water pollution the oil is polluting the surface water then the other thing which we have discussed were all about surface water pollution like oil spillage fertilizer industrial effluents sewage discharge these all were about surface water pollution but now let us discuss how ground water is polluted so the major sources of ground water pollution are septic tank deep well injection of industrial effluents or mines so whenever this polluted water is injected inside the ground that means it gets mixed with the ground water so the impurities are mixed with the ground water and thereby it is polluting the ground water now what is septic tank septic tank is a process where the industries treat their polluted water inside a tank the tank is made inside the ground so different procedure like physical chemical and biological process are done to clean that water or to remove impurities from the water so during that process if there is leakage in the tank that polluted water directly gets mixed into the ground water and thereby it pollutes the ground water now classification of water pollutants so water pollutants which pollutes the water are classified into different eight categories first is inorganic water pollutant second is organic water pollutant third is suspended matter fourth is radioactive pollutant fifth is thermal pollutant sixth is synthetic organic compound seventh is pathogens and eighth is sediments we have already discussed what is pathogens pathogens are harmful microorganism bacteria and viruses present in the water which are harmful for the human body now let us discuss first what is organic water pollutants so organic water pollutants are oxygen demanding pollutant the organic pollutants are present in domestic sewage plant nutrient oil wastage from food processing industries dairy and pesticide waste so whatever organic waste which enters the water that is known as organic water pollutant classification of water pollutants the most organic waste is biodegradable in nature hence it can be break down and used as food for microorganisms the aerobic bacteria uses dissolved oxygen from the water and deplete the level of dissolved oxygen for the decomposition of organic matter so mostly organic pollutants are the pollutants which are oxygen demanding pollutant and they will require bacteria to break them or decompose them so as they require more and more bacteria that means they require more and more oxygen and they deplete the level of oxygen in the water bodies and that's why they are harmful to the water bodies now 
the other source of water pollutants are radioactive pollutants the source of radioactive compound and nuclear power plants medicated radioactive use in hospital and scientific use of radioactive material from laboratories uranium and thorium mining etc these all are known as radioactive pollutants or radioactive compounds which act as pollutants in the water these wastes are highly toxic and cause birth defects generic damage and cancer so if we consume the water which is having radioactive pollutant it can cause lot of problems in human body and it can affect our genes also thermal pollutant the thermal power plant based on coal fired or nuclear fuel fired is a major source of thermal pollution these thermal plants release hot water and discharge it into nearby water body the hot water discharge increases the temperature of water body and kills the aquatic creature so whenever any hot water is released in the nearby water bodies it acts as a pollution in the water so basically thermal pollution is when hot water is discharged into nearby water bodies so outside water body is cold and whatever you are releasing from the industry is hot water so whenever hot water and cold water gets mixed that results into change in the temperature of the water body so that results into death of different kind of microorganisms present in the body because they cannot survive a different temperature now the another form of water pollutant is known as nutrients the sewage and agriculture runoff waste from fertilizer and detergent industries contain phosphate and nitrogen in large quantity so phosphate and nitrogen are acting as nutrients in the water but anything excessive is harmful to the water bodies so such runoff is discharged into water body and then it results into over nutrition in water which is called eutrophication the result is the formation of aquatic weeds and vegetable which again is the headache for public water supply so whenever excessive amount of phosphate and nitrogen enters the water body then it is known as water pollution because when excess amount of nitrogen and phosphorus enters the water body then it results into eutrophication we'll discuss eutrophication in detail in the next lecture of water pollution inorganic pollutants are inorganic salts minerals acids toxic metals some trace element etc the inorganic pollutants make water unfit for domestic purpose and cause danger of life for aquatic creature suspended matter the soil erosion is the main source for accumulation of sediments and or suspended matter in water body the other source is solids from domestic sewage and solids from construction activities the suspended matter inhibits the penetration of sunlight in water body which results into decrease rate of photosynthesis process so whenever any suspended matter is present in the water it blocks the sunlight and because of that the plants which are present in the depth of water are not getting proper amount of sunlight and so that the photosynthesis process is not happening properly in the plant and resulting into death of the plant and resulting into pollution in the water now let us summarize what we did today we did was different sources of water pollution and so what we did was classification of water pollutant thank you for watching this video